What was that explosion? What explosion? EV. Piece of eaten death. Have some egg fried rice. <clears throat> the magic lump of hyperbolic metal. I'm shocked. Simply because you have never valued the pieces. Yeah, I like egg fried rice too. <clears throat> there was a slight complication. How slight? The lab exploded. <clears throat> Jacob. You derailed a train. <clears throat> he did. Did he? Well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Yes, my love. Also no more. Then all in all a successful Never really looked in into it to see if there's any near what me. About London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last hundred years. They are far too strong yet. Patience. The Templars have found a new piece of Eden. So David is well. dead. They do not know how to use it. The council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Patience, Evie. Ah, the gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. So what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, father, you could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. You know. A chopstick Jake in your Fry. underwear. You might just be right. Then shall we? Yes. Let's. Mm. Onward to London. Gets it out. <laughs> It's up sweeter. I know, I know. You've only had a taste of our latest acquisition from Abstergo. But I want to check in on Sean and Rebecca. I still think attacking a Templar is a mistake. Dr. Grammatica. Come on. Oh, Isabel. What a lovely surprise. Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. Spicks back out. Where it's located, I'll let that you tastes know. like cool milk. Huh? Always a pleasure. Prick. Mm. It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm lol, afraid I don't lol. have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Oh, I've got an eyelash in my eye. Job easy. Oh, shit. It does look grim. Masterberg, Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it. Oh. Mm. Hunt them down. Kaboom. <laughs> has put the whole operation at risk. You need to synchronize Jacob and Evie's memories. Find something that puts us ahead of the enemy. I made the shop assistant wank in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck.
Those are the best as I'll fucking put the shit in the bag and make them cook it and eat it lol. <laughs> I've never seen so many people all at once. The churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Who's Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London. Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? Oi, oi watch it. Beg pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you filthy dipper! <laughs> Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. You'll pay for that, my buddy. It was 5p for the carrier bag, you ungrateful bastard, the other well. <laughs> does London have to offer? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race you to the highest vantage point. Look not on my watch! Oh, yeah, right, just... Cook your own come from now on. Who's marked on father's map? Two assassins. Equal in height, one female, one male. Two decades old, and those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. We're having all this tiff, lol. I'll there, bring my I'm big crumpet up with a mask by and my decaf coffee, lol. Oh! Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries. His reach <laughs> extends all across London. The world's thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied them. It is a popular game. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. You're never good at chess either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? This is the highest point in Whitechapel. Bring me some tea. <laughs> hmm. 
Nice lolly yolk. <laughs> Look at what Starak has done to the city. Whitechapel is riddled with crime. Child labor, despite regulations. A gang known as the Blighters overruns the streets. And Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. We will free London from Starak. You have my word. I'm my looks. Miss Fry, your passion is inspiring. Come. Let us return to my shop, and I can bring you up to date on the rest. You have a small crumpet, don't brag. <laughs> Starek's gang leaders. Why does he want you? He's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The Peace of Eden. So tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Starek gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain forced, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the rooks. This city, no one looks where they're going. Yes, I've noticed that. Bloody drood. I'll never finish it at this rate. Only Providence knows where those words are headed now. Well, I must get to work replacing them. Should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two, you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot. Ta ta. What an odd man. That Mr. Fry was Charles Dickens. Knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. <clears throat> Kalok's gang is nearby. They must not follow me back to my shop. We'll take care of it. Yeah. You might be able to use this. Oh, God, I hope so. My carriage is nearby. Make use of it to throw them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. At a girl, we need to lead them away from the mm. <laughs> Here comes trouble. Their carriages are easily damaged. Caleb will rule the day. That's the fella. Keep moving. Get it! Turn to Mr. Green. Aye, aye, Captain. You're relentless. That relentlessness will see me become master when we finish.